Hey, you down here? Okay, so this is my uh, screen of uh, settings of my uh, ZoneNet router. That one right up there that I have in the garage. It's uh, set up as a wireless repeater. And those are two gateways that I'm running out here. One's, the bottom one's a 500 megahertz. That's the one I was showing the screen of. The top one's a 350 megahertz. So that's a 500 megahertz and this is a 350 megahertz. I've got both of them logged in to the uh, router admin and I never do, never done this before but I thought I'd do it on this one since uh, I'll get it set up as a wireless repeater and then it'll jack up and quit working and I have to uh, reset it with the button on the back manually. These are the old monitors so they, uh, they don't photograph too well. Uh, anyway I set it up to my uh, my main router. I, I don't know if that's if I need to use the machine IP address or the router. I'm thinking maybe this router would be the best way to do it. And then that way, any machine that I have on that router can talk to them. <coughs> I may take this off. Well, I will be taking it off. I <coughs> thought I'd see if I could get in it from my phone, but heck, it's so hard to type on a phone. I'm not sure if it was working or not. Because my router's on. My phone's on that router. <coughs> But uh, anyway, I might try it again before I re before I reset the whole thing for a wireless repeater. Right now, you you can get into them through the wired connections from these machines. But uh, <coughs> as soon as I set it up, I have a file I save. You know, with all the settings I need to make it work right as a wireless repeater. And what it does when I do that is uh, it uh, talks to a router in the house, repeats its signal, and. Uh, then these machines, which are not wireless, are just wired. They can get on the internet though, because they go to this router here, and then wirelessly into the wi machine in the wire router in the house. And it usually works pretty well, um, because uh, I think that one, will, that zone that'll do like 150 megabits. And uh, well, the one it's talking to in the house is only 54 megabits, so it's restricted to 54 megabits. But uh, still works pretty well until things start jacking up. <laughs> Then it don't work at all, and uh, it's gotten to where it. Uh, I don't come out here all real, real often, and when I do come out here, it's not working. So I thought it's a real pretty day, and I got tired of being inside. So I thought, well, I'm gonna come out here, and then the next thing you know, I'm starting to fiddle with this instead of just. I couldn't sit here two minutes before I had to start doing something. So I always get to have my brain active. I don't know what it'd do. I think it might uh, explode or something if I didn't. But. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, I just wanted to show this and remind myself that uh, it's just a standard, you know, router IP 192.168.0.1, and that doesn't tell anybody anything out on the internet. I mean, that they didn't already know. So, uh, you know, if you you'd have to get uh, if you could get close enough, if you could get past two firewalls, then you'd be in in anyway with everything I got. So which I'm sure people can do it, but hopefully they won't. So anyway, um, we'll see what happens here, one way or the other. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna. can't do that in making a video, of course, uh, so I'll stop the video and I'll try one more time to, I tried typing in that uh, that IP to see if I could get to that router with it, with it like it is in uh, the admin section of it from my phone, but it didn't seem to go anywhere, but I got tired of fiddling with it, so. I don't like trying to tap on a phone. It's pretty hard. All right, bye.